Four years ago this month, stupid 11-year-old Another iDog Fan 41 uploaded this piece of trash, which was my old Hexbug Aquabot and Zuru Robofish collection. Yes, before your eyes, you see my Hexbug Aquabot and Zuru Robofish and other fish collection. And somehow this happened to it. I normally would not do videos like these, but I am taking the time to make this video, which is a updated version of that video. So, without further ado, let's get this thing going. Now, since Zuru Robofish came before the Hexbug Aquabots, they were made in 2012, Aquabots were 2013. We're gonna go ahead and start with the Robofish. So, this is my remaining original Robofish from the first release. This is the Green Shark one. The first variants of Robofish were made in um, four, uh, two different styles and four different colors for each style, the shark and the fish. Um, mine is the green shark. And, yeah. It's, it's very steamy in here, so it might, they've been triggering little sensors randomly and it's pretty funny. So, and then, since those were a huge success, they decided to release a second wave of them, which was called the Tropical Robofish Series, or Robofish Series 2, they were called. I have two from the Series 2, which is this pink one here, which um, has seen better days for sure. I mean, it works fully still, but, you know, stupid 11-year-old me didn't take the best care of these, unfortunately, which I'm still kicking myself for that. But, you know, what you gonna do? Um, it's 11 year old me. <laughs> and then this one's the blue tang one for also from the tropical series, which I really like that one. It's one of my, it's one of my more recent ones. Um, and then after that, they made the LED versions of the Robofish and I have two of those. This one is my first Robofish ever and probably my favorite in my whole collection. It's the yellow blue colored Robofish. This one I have tons of memories with, and it's probably my favorite in this entire collection of Robofish and Aquabots. And then we have this blue one here, which is um, also pretty cool. It has a red light in it. And then, after that, they came up with a, a bunch of little series. I kind of missed out on those. Um, they had, like, turtles. They had jellyfish. They had one simply called Robo Alive, and they just had the clownfish and the blue tang with two turtles. Um, they were kind of like sold together or whatever. But this is from the most recent generation of Robofish, the Robofish Color Changers, which I just picked this up at CVS yesterday, believe it or not. And this thing has not touched water once. This is brand new, basically. So, um, yeah, I just got this yesterday because um, I decided to test out what's different about the modern day. They, the mold is basically the same. Everything about it the same. There's no light, except these ones apparently co color change, so... Be interesting to see how that works out. And then of course, we have this guy, which is the well-known knockoff Robofish, which is not made by your Zuru. It has a, clearly has a fake LED, it has more transparent plastic. The tail neck is green. And the tail is cheap material. The whole thing is cheap and it does not swim well at all. I had much more Aquabots, but Given one, the fact that Robofish were much more durable than Aquabots, and two, um, stupid 11 year old me take, took garbage care of Aquabots, most of them either didn't last or I sold them on eBay because I was downsizing. So let's start off, I have the 1.0, which is the, the Deco, the 1.5 Deco model, which is a clownfish. Um, this is actually my, I think this is the final thing I ever bought from Toys R Us. So this one's pretty special um, and it still works great and it's one of my favorites. Um, and then I have three 2.0 hammerhead sharks. I have the blue one and the yellow, which these came with the Harbor set and you're gonna activate. And then I have the purple one right here. And then also for the 2.0s, I have the Deco 2.0 yellow with the blue. And I have the remote control green with the blue, which has a working re remote control. So just to do a quick demonstration of that. And then, okay, fine, seahorse, I'll get to you guys next. They came up with the seahorse and jellyfish next. Here's my seahorse, it's a purple one. The batteries are a little low, judging the fact that the light is flickering a lot there. And then finally we have 
Another one of my favorites, the jellyfish, which is probably another one of my favorites. And finally, not but not but not the last but not least, we have my two wahoos. This one used to be broken, but I fixed it. And this is my blue one. This is my first one. This is my second. They both still work great. So there's those guys, and yeah, that basically sums it up for my current collection. Obviously not as much as last time. Now, I'm not sure about you guys, but I'm not too sure what a Hexbug Aquabot video is without showcasing them in action in the water. So, without further ado, I have them all lined up, and we're going to throw them all in the bathtub. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for all the talking in this video, so I'll let these guys do the rest. So without further ado, here we go. And this will include the first demonstration of the brand new Robofish color changers. So we'll see how that looks in the, in the water. And we'll also see how absolutely terrible this knockoff is. So without further ado, let's get these guys in.
So you'll start noticing some of the fish are shutting themselves off because certain models have a built-in timer that will let them turn off after three, four, five minutes. The jellyfish over there turns off after three minutes. The color-changing robofish, like this one here, and as well as the new one, turn off after four minutes and the Aquabot 2.0s and all of the Aquabots, will, the rest of the Aquabots will turn off after five minutes, except for the Wahoos. Thank you guys for watching this updated video. Hope you guys enjoyed.